In this lesson, we will cover how to add a line filter to your Enphase commercial installation. After this training, you should be able to understand what a line filter is and why one might be needed, how to purchase a line filter, how to install and wire the line filter, what is a line filter and why is it needed. In commercial applications, a line filter separates power line communication domains across the Enphase IQAP 3P microinverter installation. A line filter might be needed when site loads generate electrical noise that disrupt communication between the microinverters and the IQ Gateway Commercial 2. Some examples of site loads that generate excess electrical noise might be large electrical motors or medical equipment. If you're not 100% sure if your site will have too much electrical noise to warrant a line filter, you can always install a large enough enclosure for a line filter between the AC combiner and point of interconnection, then run your conductors through it. That way, if you do have to add a line filter at a later date, it's an easier addition. You will also need a line filter if your site has more than one IQ Gateway Commercial 2. Each additional IQ Gateway Commercial 2 will need a line filter. So if your site has two IQ Gateway Commercial 2s, you'll need one line filter. If your site has three gateways, you'll need two line filters, and so on. Adding a line filter to an Enphase energy system. Enphase recommends the PLC line filter manufactured by Astrodyne available on the Enphase store. If you're not sure how many line filters you may need for your project, the Enphase System Builder tool can help determine how many you'll need. Once you input the required information in the System Builder tool, it'll ask you if there's high electrical noise. For this example, we're going to select No. Based off of how many modules we have on this project, we will need three IQ Gateway Commercial 2s. This means that we will need two 400 amp three phase line filters. Let's take our same example project, but this time let's select that there's high electrical noise. We still have the same three commercial gateways, and you can see that with high electrical noise environment, we need three line filters, one per gateway. Line filter must be installed between the AC combiner load panel and point of interconnection. Each line filter must be a minimum of 12 inches from all conductors and equipment upstream from the line filter. The line filter must be installed in an NEC compliant enclosure for the installation area. Choose an enclosure large enough to accommodate the 7 inch wide by 17.5 inches long line filter with allowance for the conductors line and load to maintain 12 inches of separation. Use the mounting screw holes on the line filter to fasten the line filter to the enclosure. The recommended conduit entries can be any combination of line and load provided the conduit entries stay a minimum of 12 inches apart. Wiring the line filter is fairly simple. You will follow the labels on the line filter and connect line 1 to line 1, line 2 to line 2, and so on. The output from the combiner load panel board is to be connected to the load side of the filter, and then connect the utility feed to the line side of the filter. Use a chair lug, a crimpable lug, or similar to connect your wire to the M10 terminals on the line filter. Follow the installation instructions for the wire connector you choose. The recommended torque for the terminals on the line filter is 160 inch pounds. And remember to always connect line one to line one, line two to line two, line three to line three, neutral to neutral, and ground to ground. If you are not sure if your commercial installation will need a line filter or you need assistance with the line filter, please contact your Enphase commercial sales representative or your Enphase field applications engineer.